February 22nd, and I'm at Chiha State Park. Um, I'm pretty happy to have a campsite too because when I got here, there was a line out the door, and I thought I was about to get turned away. Uh, they had firewood for still up at the front, but they've been so busy that they hadn't had time to pull any out today. So um, I, I guess I'm going to have to go back and try again in a little while. I processed down some wood into burnable chunks that I found around the campsite, but it was all kind of wet. So I have a feeling that I, I'm going to have to go back down there and try and see if I can get some drier stuff. Um, I have some plans tonight for dinner. I brought all the stuff to make deer sausage jambalaya, so a fire is going to be crucial to that. Um, but after dinner, I think I'm going to try and do some astrophotography. I've never done that before. Uh, I'm at the highest point in Alabama, about probably 200 yards over to my left is the uh, official highest point in Alabama. So we've had some pretty clear skies t today, and I think that's going to carry over into the nighttime, and I should be able to get some uh, good shots or at least learn a little bit about it uh, through doing it so or through trying to do it but um right now i think i'm just going to go back and get in the hammock kind of chill out for a little bit uh and go over some of the trails that are local to here i want to have a game plan for tomorrow before i go to bed i'm under the impression that there are like two or three waterfalls around here that i can hike to so i want to be able to uh kind of have an idea of what i'm going to do tomorrow before i go to bed but um i'll check back with you guys in just a little bit astrophotography uh, didn't work out for me um, there's a flashing light over to my left I guess it's to signal planes uh, and it just keeps polluting the shot so not to mention the fact that I didn't have a good composition anyway uh, <laughs> but it's okay uh, that's not really why I was here anyway I just figured uh, I'd be bored around camp so I might as well give it a shot um, I'm trying something different for my sleeping arrangement tonight uh, I took the air mattress and I put it in the back of my Jeep, so I'm going to be sleeping back here. Um, I've been camping pretty much every week, every weekend this year, and while I love sleeping in the tent, I think that I'll be a little warmer in here and just feel a little more secure. Um, and I just want to give it a shot to see what it's like sleeping in the, sleeping in the Jeep, so... This air mattress isn't really made for this, but they do make one. I think it's called deep, a deep sleep mattress that's kind of cut out for the seats and everything. So I might give that a shot. Um, look and see how much that thing costs if, if this ends up working out. I have spotty Wi-Fi here, so I'm not going to be able to pass the time by playing around on the internet. So I'm really hoping that I'll be able to get some solid sleep. So... I'm pretty comfortable though. I'm pretty warm. Um, I don't even have my sleeping bag all the way on and I'm not cold at all. I feel good. I feel like I have room to stretch my legs out and um, I'm 6'3", so it's kind of hard to get all 6'3 of me in the back of this Jeep, but uh, it seems to be okay, so I guess we'll see. Um, anyway, I'm going to lay around and relax a little bit, see if I can get some sleep in just a little bit, so... Uh, I'll see you guys in the morning for coffee. Well, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but I did manage to pack it in between midnight and 4 a.m. Um, those are the hardest hours for me to get through, so if I have to pick a four-hour block to sleep on a camping trip, it, it would be that. <laughs> so that's a win for me. Um, Sunrise this morning was amazing. Uh, I tried to capture a bit of it, but my batteries are dying at like record speeds. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the cold, 
but just running probably like five ten minutes drain my battery all the way down to 50 percent so i have the jeep running and um i'm trying to pack in as much power as i can before my hike um i want to go over to pulpit rock um It's supposed to be a short hike. My coffee cup wants to fall over. <laughs> Nothing is even here. That's that's one of the gripes I have about this campground. It's on top of a mountain, which I guess, you know, what can you expect? But there's rocks everywhere and nothing is even. Um, I feel like I've been bracing myself all day. But anyway, I'm going to Pulpit Rock. Um, it's a short hike and it's inside the gate. So I don't want to um, leave the campground and not be able to get back in so i want to go over there and, and and hike pulpit rock it's supposed to be a really nice view so that's going to be my first stop i actually have hiked outside of the park before um i hiked i think it was adam's gap or something if i can find some of the pictures back before i even had a nice camera or did any kind of real photography at all i had pictures up on my instagram maybe i'll be able to put them over here somewhere and show you guys but um i want to hike inside the park i've never done that before so i'm going to go to pulpit rock and then i'm going to try and figure out the waterfall situation i saw the entrance to i think it was called high falls high, something oh it was a waterfall that was outside of the park and it looked kind of like an off-road track to get there and i'm really hoping it is because that would be really fun i don't know how close the jeep can get but um I don't know that would make for some great <laughs> footage so i would love that but either way i'm going to go to that waterfall i'm under the impression that you can hike to one from the other so i need to do a little bit more research and i'm still a little fuzzy on that but i'll bring you guys along for the ride
Pulpit Rock was amazing. I think it'd be worth the drive up here just to see that lookout. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of photos, but I am getting some video, so I think the video is going to turn out really nicely. I'm at the High Falls parking area right now. Uh, I'm about to hit that trail, so I'm hoping my battery's going to last. I'm having trouble getting it to charge past 40%, um, so I think I'm going to head home after I see this, so I only need it to hold out for a little longer, but I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> 